Hey there, hi there, it's me, Priscilla B, and I'm doing Mermaid Messenger today. So I got these Mermaid Messenger cards, and this is uh, Messages from the Mermaids, and I really love it. It's by Karen K, artwork by Linda Olson, a 44 card deck and guidebook. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to shuffle up the cards, we're going to see what the messages from the mermaids are today, we're also going to see what the messages from the fairies are as well. So the first message from the mermaid is the future, the future which I absolutely love. I love this, so gorgeous. So what is the future? What is in store? We have turn away. Ooh, interesting. So we have the future and turn away. Is it possibly turning away from the future? And we also have truth. So the future, turn away, and truth. Hmm very cryptic message. We're going to have to look into this further to see what this means. So I think this um, mer message from the mermaids is um, very interesting. So we have the future. We have turn away. And we have truth. So what does the future mean? It means that you want to change your viewpoint to influence the future. Remember that like water, the future is fluid and always changing according to your current actions and thoughts. Okay, so we have that and then we have turn away. What does turn away mean? Mm. Turn away from or turn your back on a situation that isn't serving your highest good. Turning away can be an empowering thing to do. And then truth. Admit the truth to yourself. Accepting the truth can set you free and be a joyful experience. Avoiding the truth isn't beneficial. So accepting the truth can set you free. This mermaid right here looks at you with the eyes of truth and asks you to consider honestly any area of your life that worries you. We know the truth can hurt. We also know that the truth can set us free. When you ask to find out the truth of a situation, it will reveal itself at the perfect time. Are you being totally honest? Maybe you think you're protecting someone by withholding the truth. This is really the right thing to do. In most circumstances, it's better to reveal the truth in a loving way so that those involved can work through this, through things together. It's important to acknowledge free will and to give others the opportunity to make their own choices based on the truth. This is also freeing on a karm karmic level. This card also says there could be a secret waiting to be brought to light. Trust your intuition and any hunches you have at this time. Remember there are usual two or more sides to any story, so it's wise to consider that the truth resides somewhere in the middle. When you live your life in truth, you never need to recall what you've said or done previously because you walk the path of honesty. This card appears in a reading to highlight an area of life where a truth will soon reveal itself. Pay close attention to the surrounding cards for extra insight. So the surrounding cards are the future and turn away, so we're going to look deeper into those. So I feel like we need better understanding. 64. So the future card, gazing intently into the future, this mermaid says you can see potential outcomes from your present vantage point. However, this isn't the full picture and it's changeable. If you're feeling sad or depressed, times ahead will be colored by this state of mind making everything seem bleak. 
The good news is that by adopting a more positive mindset, the future can appear golden and full of possibilities. It's natural to feel a little helpless during challenging times, yet by focusing on the positive, counting your blessings and practicing gratitude can really change your future for the best. A good support network is helpful for you or the person you're reading for. In reassuring contrast, when you're feeling positive, the future can appear even more golden than you could ever have imagined. From this favorable position, you can see clearly how your outlook and inner dialogue directly have an influence over your future. Similarly, similarly if you've heard of the butterfly effect, the theory of how the simple flap of a butterfly's wings can have far-reaching consequences around the world. You'll be aware that changing just one thought or action can have a direct impact on the future. The future card also asks you to claim your ability to see into situations on a spiritual level. Your gift of insight is heightened right now. Use this ability for yourself and others, and for the highest good of all. Oh, I like that. And we also have um, turn away. So what is the deeper meaning of turn away? This mermaid is showing you that turning away is the correct course of action, even if this is only a temporary measure. It can be a challenge action to take as you may feel defeated on an egotistical level. Yet in your wisdom, you know deep down it's the right thing to do. So hold your head up high. Sorry about that. So I left off with, so hold your head up high, okay? Because, let's see where I so hold your head up high and accept that you've done all you can do. Turn or swim away with your self-esteem intact. Turning away can be a loving gesture when you know the people or situation you're turning away from will flourish without your input or physical presence. You can still send healing thoughts to the people or situation so that you feel better about changing course and you'll still be helping by sending blessings from a distance. Sometimes we need to turn away from a situation to gain a better perspective on things. Don't feel that you have to endure your present circumstances if they don't feel right for you. Perhaps you're finding something unacceptable, in which case it's important to honor your own feelings. Have you already turned away from a situation, but are tempted to get involved again? If this resonates with you, think long and carefully before backtracking. Try to recall the reason you turned away in the first place. Time has a habit of blurring our memories, so take off those rose tinted glasses before making any major decisions in relation to this. All right, so we have the future, turn away, and truth, which I think all work really well together because um, it's all about facing the future um, and turning away from the past situation and going toward a new, better situation uh, with the truth still intact. So I think we, know we need more clarity here from the fairies. So I think it's some clarity from the fairies. Have the Oracle Fairy deck. We even have messages from the birds. So I think we should do those two. Why not, right? We have a mermaid card in here. Okay. And get these all in order. Maybe this is kind of like a past, present, and future type thing happening. We have stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Which is what we're trying to figure out right now about this uh, situation that we're um, looking away from. journey okay it's time to prepare for a journey it may be impromptu or plan either way make sure you're ready when the time comes pack your passport now okay and we 
also have believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around you in nature. I got my little assistant with me now. The little angel boo. Little angel boo. So we have journey and then we have believe in magic. And this is open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy at the Northern Lights says you are part of nature so you are magical too. Okay. Stargazing card. So this card says the answer you seek is in the stars. So remember we were trying to figure out what this um, situation is that we're trying to move away from and find the truth about. So it says it's in the stars. This can literally mean looking up into the night sky and stargazing. Stargazing is like a form of divination. Allow your gaze to drift around the sky and see what flows in your mind. Fairies can be very active when the stars begin to appear and shine upon their surroundings. This also applies to you, except the stars are illuminating your current situation so that a solution can be more easily seen. Stargazing can bring about a deep sense of peace and can also help you to put things into perspective. Look how tiny the stars appear to be, yet this is only an illusion. Conversely, perhaps something in your life appears to be bigger than it is in reality. Do you have an interest in astronomy? If not, this card may be saying that it's time to explore this area. The insight you seek may also be found in astrology. This may be in daily horoscope, or it could be in the perfect time to have your birth chart created by a professional, so you can see the energy currents and play in your life. At play in your life, this doesn't mean you have to change your life, but being aware of certain astrological patterns can be helpful as you move forward. Cool. Okay, and then this is all about the journey to discovery oh. yeah you got a card and all the different things and then we have journey of course we have the journey card <laughs> and okay It seems you may be about to embark on an exciting journey, so start packing your suitcase or backpack right away. But remember to travel light so you can easily be spontaneous, both with your physical journeys and with the journeys of your heart and being. Perhaps this is the right time to set on an adventure of your own. You never know who you might meet. You may find yourself thinking about relocating or even moving to another country. It's worth signing up to low-cost travel websites to see what bargains appear or go back to basics and just stick a pin in a map and travel there. Maybe you know someone who deserves a holiday or a day out. You could take the initiative and invite them to join you on a fun-filled fairy journey. This card may also be telling you that your passport needs to be renewed. The fairy of traveling pictured on this card with a speedy hair, with a speedy hair, hair is telling you to prepare and be ready to take a leap of faith when the moment is right. It's a potentially super exciting time full of fun as you venture into the wonderful unknown. It is also a chance to feel truly alive and surrender to your magical destiny, banishing any preconceived plans or expectations. This message may also relate to members of your family who are about to move or go on a holiday. However, it manifests a journey is imminent. It might be near or far, or even an inner journey, but the main thing is that you're ready and willing. Okay, and then of course you have um, the card that came right after this one. Believe in magic, okay? So the Believe in Magic card. 
When the fairy of the northern lights appears, she comes to you to tell you to open your eyes and see the magic that's all around you. The aurora borealis is pure magic, and seeing the colorful ribbons of light dancing in the sky is on many a wish list. Perhaps you too have felt drawn to see this phenomena in real life? If so, this card is confirmation that it's time to start making those plans. Or maybe another faraway location is calling to you. When nature beckons you, your spirit knows the way to go. The message may not be so literal. However, instead, this magical fairy could be flying in to remind you to open up your eyes and heart to the magic and wonder of natural world, so much of which we take for granted. The fairy of the northern lights says when you're, talk, when you're taking a walk, stop, look up, look down, and see the magic that's all around. Because sometimes we need a gentle reminder to stop and smell the roses and revel in the magic of nature. Perhaps you're being called to inspire someone else to see the world through new eyes of wonderment. Children see magic all around them. It's natural to them. If you feel stuck in a rut, tune into your inner child and learn to see the world through the eyes of a youngster once again and I think that all goes very well together it makes sense you know your the future of um, is looking like you know you need to spend time uh, working on your inner child you need to turn away from the past and you need to start looking at the future and a new journey ahead of you a magical journey um, Maybe you want to get into tarot card reading, kind of like what you're doing right now. Uh, maybe you want to spend time learning about horoscopes and stargazing. And um, there's just new bright things um, in on the horizon. And then we have the bird messenger cards. We have past, present, and future. Hmm. So, we have the past, present, and future. Okay. So, the past bird message. We're going to do that one first. Oh! Yummy! Yeah. All right. Ooh. So, up first we have the bluebird. Okay. And the bluebird is you are being gifted with blessings of happiness and peace. Okay. And then we have the pelican. Choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration. Awesome. Kind of like, you know, choose to follow the path of forgiveness. Like, turn away from the past ugly situation you were in. Learn to forgive and raise your vibration with your truth. Okay? And then we have the turkey. Honor your own time of harvest. Offer your gifts and blessings as service to the greater good. The turkey. Oh, the turkey, and it's almost Thanksgiving. Well, still got about a month left. But still, it's right in that season. So we have the past, present, and future. So um, I think this all goes really well. It makes sense to me. It makes sense that, you know, you were probably in um, a past situation that wasn't great for you. But you're turning away from it now. You're facing your truth. And you're learning... Um, to go on this new journey and with your eyes above to the stars like believing in magic um and you are being gifted with blessings of happiness and peace you are going to choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration speak your truth use your authentic voice and honor your own time of harvest offer your gifts and blessings as service to the greater good so thanks for watching and I have a goddess knowledge card.
is a Greek sea goddess who represented fertility. She is a creator goddess for all life beings in the sea, and she is usually portrayed as a nereid, a sea nymph, a beautiful young semi-divine goddess found of dawn, bleh, dancing and singing. She helped raise the artisan god uh, Hephaestus and once provided sanctuary for Dionysus. Thestis is particularly known as a shapeshifter when Peleus desired to marry her. She transformed herself into fire, water, a lion, and a serpent in order to escape him. As the personification of calm waters, Thestis is responsible for providing a peaceful sea. She is the center of peace and calm that is always available, even in the midst of changing forms. She is a goddess who enjoys life's pleasures. Okay, so we have the mermaid messages for you today. Um, so turn away from your past, um, ugly situation, um, look toward your new journey ahead full of magic and stargazing and um, think of, think ahead to, um, you know, all the good times that you have. Choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration is your current um, message from the birds. And then your future message is to honor your own time of harvest. Offer your gifts and blessings as service to the greater good. Okay, so you have all the messages for today. Thanks for watching. Love and light. And tonight I'll be doing a Triple Moon Goddess reading with uh, my prism cards. Thanks for watching. Bye!